When we started this project, the question was how to reduce carbon emissions from the paper life cycle or from the paper industry. And after looking at different options, we realized that reducing paper will actually cut many stages of the life cycle. So if you can reuse paper two, three or five times, you will be effectively extending the life, the useful life of the paper um, by doing this. After that, you can still send it to recycle. So by doing this, you are obviously uh, reducing the carbon emissions. What we have here, it's a green laser, 532 nanometers, and we are firing it on black toner, a typical office toner on a typical office paper. Uh, and what happens is that the laser light is absorbed by the toner. This type of toner is mostly composed of 50% polyester resin, 50% iron oxide. And this mixture absorbs the laser energy, the temperature goes up, and the polyester fraction gets degraded and ablated. And when this happens, it detaches the rest of the toner from the paper. What you see on the screen is obviously the white bits are the paper. You can see the cellulose fibers at a microscopic level. The screen is more or less looking at uh, a square of three millimeters on each side. Uh, the black area is the toner printed on the paper. And uh, what is happening is you're seeing how the laser is being fired at the toner and the toner is being blasted away. That's pretty much it. At this stage, I think the first stage will be to create a standalone prototype. And then after you have that and demonstrate the full scale process uh, and the commercial viability, the next step will be to make it smaller, to integrate it with normal printers. Of course, that will be a, a very logical step. I think the biggest challenge will be, first of all, to, to commercialize it in a big scale to get the right speed and uh, ensure a low energy consumption, but also the user behavior. Uh, people adopting this technology and having the discipline in big offices to actually uh, keep the paper in good shape and unprint it and keep doing it with good discipline. So, but obviously if people adopt this behavior, I have no doubt that this could be a game changer.